I just used Claude Sonnet 4 to generate this whole research paper in one and a half hours. It wrote all of the code, the whole project, so many files. It did everything and I did not do absolutely anything. I just gave the initial prompt and the research seems uh, really good. Besides a few minor mistakes in research paper, I think it's really good. So this is the GitHub page and you see there are so many files and I wrote here my opinions and then how to run this. I let it run alone for one and a half hours, but if you follow what it's doing, if you are prompting, if you are vibe coding it and giving suggestions and fixing, uh, suggesting some mistake fixes, it can be perfect. So in the next video, we will try to do even better research where I will actually be guiding it. But now let's see how I did uh, this autonomous research. I'm using Kiro by Amazon, it's competitor to Cursor. Uh, I like their specs and planning, but I think other ideas like cursor maybe has this option as well so you can use any id cursor windsurf this one or google gemini uh, cli or cloud code whatever but this one has very good planning and autonomous execution so i'm not sure about other ones i think uh, gemini cli can do it as well but you would need to maybe then create a bit better plans or tell it to plan and stuff so you will adapt to your id but let's begin so I will use uh, Kiro ID from Amazon. It has the, I wanna try this uh, spec planning our AI research, but if you don't have this uh, ID, then you can just plan AI research with a classic vibe coding in some file. I just said I wanna do AI that's gonna be fitting curves. So AI has some uh, function and then it learns to fit that function, the same thing. So it's simple, I wanna also uh, save some images of different things, try different experiments, and then in the end write a research paper. So now it's uh, writing requirements MD. You don't see the prompt, so I will show you here my prompt. So if you are not working in Kiro, then you can also add prompts uh, for this to first plan, so you can see the plan. I like this plan, it just says we will test different hyperparameters, different settings, different curves, different data, so we can move on to design phase. I'm, I'm not going to change the plan, I like it. This actually create, planned a very complex folder structure, file training structure, which I like. I'm just scared that it will never finish this, this will be too complex and it will get confused. But it actually planned a lot of different experiments, set up different neural networks, different data, all of it. So let me keep it like this and move to implementation. So then convert, it converted that design into this list of tasks that it will do, task list. So first tasks are project setup and data generation and then neural network architecture after that. And then you see all of the tasks you can check, but there is a lot. I'm scared again, like it will never finish this. There is too many maybe. So now that we have this, I can just go onto tasks and start task one. Click here and it will now write the task. I hope this will not last too long because if it does, we will have to shorten it. Because it looks like just a few tasks, but this can go on for like two hours. Uh, that's what happened to me last time, but the project was also a lot more complex. So it says here task one complete. Uh, it actually tried uh, this, like it had this test and it worked it loaded so let me go to task two task one took like one to two minutes very fast it set up entire folder structure here uh, papers images source data documentation models i like this and then main pi we have uh, a lot of the argue different arguments maybe experiments for the setup i like this it all looks good like it's implementing these different optimizers different training loops uh, it's done four out of nine tasks in like 13 minutes. So now it's implementing plots by plotting. So I'm literally not doing anything. It's designing entire research, everything. I'm just uh, worried if it will work or not. Wait, we already have some images. This is unexpected. I didn't expect to have these images immediately. I thought I would first need to run. This is so nice looking but what does it mean i'm not sure so maybe we'll read the research paper in the end and see what all of this means all of these images look cool there are a bunch of cool features like readme generator it has a bunch of this cool stuff but i don't know what it's gonna do in the end 
we are at task eight and there is nine in total it's been like an hour almost it's quite surprising it finished and this is the research paper and I didn't expect it to do literally everything. It did the experiments, it wrote tests. This code base is huge. We have all the pictures. So in the end it just didn't write the latex paper so I told it to write the paper as well and then I converted it to PDF and that's it. And randomly just as I finished I ran out of credits on Kiro. So Kiro has daily limit because it's now it's in preview and it's for free. Sonnet. But anyways, that was a random luck. <laughs> so I definitely wouldn't let it do alone this huge project. I would start a lot simpler requirements, a lot simpler project, and then I would vibe code but follow everything what's, that's happening. Right now it was working for one and one and a half hours completely alone. But I think the conclusions are very good here in the research. I think it's very good. Uh, I'm not sure if it did the research 100% properly. I mean, I could have I have more ideas I would have told it to do things a bit differently I would have had uh, better ideas but I'm happy with for one and a half hours it was doing the research writing code and doing everything check out my other videos I have other vibe coding uh, research papers and other AI research kind of stuff on my channel so see you next time